We're here with uh, head coach Cleve Wright, uh, sophomore guard Anna Richter, and senior forward Tamira Ford after a thrilling 59-57 victory over Moorhead State. Coach, your opening statement. Um, I thought uh, there was obviously a lot of positive uh, to the game, a lot of things that, uh, that we are still learning and continue to learn. But I, I thought we, uh, we controlled the tempo like we wanted to for the most part, held them to less shots than they normally take. Uh, that's a good team. They've got talent. They're a young, little bit young like we are. Um, and, uh, and Coach Todd does a great job. So I expect them to, to win some games. And certainly, I think they have a transfer that's maybe going to come back for them. But um, Moorhead State uh, uh, did a good job today and, and, and pushed us. And we were fortunate to come out, uh, fortunate to come out on top. Loved our team defense. We were able to draw five charges today. Um, that's exciting. Uh, on the offensive end, able to get 18 offensive boards. And so um, um, we got a little bit better today. And that's, that's our goal. Anna and T, uh, defensively, Moorhead State came into this game averaging almost 90 points a game. Anna, you kind of were harassing the their team's best player all day, all night, night long. T, you took a lot of those charges. Uh, is the team defense sort of like a mentality? What is your focus when it comes down to defense? Uh, yeah, I can take that. Um, I think for our defense, that was part of our game plan was definitely to focus on defense. Like we knew the offense was going to come and we did a good job of just doing what Coach Wright told us and um, executing what we needed to do. Uh, yeah, going off of that, team defense, like you said, it is a big part of our game plan. So just making sure we were there for our teammates and having our help side, that was really big just because we know at Moorhead State, they have some pretty good drivers on their team. So that help side was going to be big. So that's where that team defense comes in. Anna, um, on a night where um, sometimes shots weren't going in for a lot of the players, you got you finished with a career high twenty. Uh, what's it like to take over, kind of take over? And were you feeling it tonight? Um, well, it didn't really seem any different from any other game. I just feel like I had some great opportunities. My teammates got me open, and um, I just was able to put them in the basket. So, right. And T, uh, as a team, the team had eighteen offensive rebounds. You had three of them. Uh, getting those second chance opportunities is pretty important, right? Yes, it is. Um, we kind of like you said before, we really go hard after the offensive boards. We make sure we crash and go after it. So once we got those second chance points, we were able to set up our offense and take our time and see what we can take advantage of. So, Coach, uh, at some point, it was a fast start offensively. Mm -hmm. uh, did kind of slow down a little bit in the second and third quarters. Mm -hmm. What What do you tell your team when sometimes the shots aren't going in? We just got to keep attacking, and I, I thought we did that. Um, I thought uh, some individual players, uh, Bailey Reed, for example, went two for 17. I think she was 0 for 9 in the first half, and she just kept attacking. Um, and that's what she needs to do and, and didn't let her head get down. You know, she had a uh, – she, she just kept going. And then she was able to hit, you know, some, some big shots uh, towards the end. If she puts her head down and, and stops doing that, you know, maybe we don't – we're not in that situation. So I think that's a good example. It's, it's being a good floor leader to do that. And, and so, yeah, very good. Coach, in the third quarter after, you know, obviously Bailey and Leah were – struggling offensively. Mm -hmm. What did you talk about in the huddle or maybe even at halftime mm -hmm. about getting other players involved? Well, you know what's interesting is we don't really focus on getting Bailey the ball. We, we I don't know. They can they can <laughs> call call me on it here. We don't say get Bailey the ball. We don't say get Leah the ball. We just play. And uh, and we and they're in situations, and those two happen to be uh, very aggressive players, and, and the situation sets up well for them. And so we basically just kept just said keep playing, keep playing, and the opportunities are come there. I don't like any of our players to hesitate. Um, hesitation leads to regret, and so um, I, I don't like any of that. And I, I want our players to be confident and want to put them in good situations. Um, and want them to feel like that they can be successful in those situations. So it's not really a thing where, you know, Bailey struck. I don't, we didn't mention it in the halftime, nothing. Yeah. Now the coaches talked about it, but um, other than that, really didn't say anything. And end game situations. Teams now had three games where it's come down almost to the final possession. What do you talk about and what mm -hmm. is the mentality going into that of just those end game situations That's for all three of you? What is your focus? What are you thinking? both on defense and offense? <clears throat> I would say just offensively, we struggled a little bit, and we just tried to focus on, like, next play. Like, every time something happened that maybe wasn't so positive, we can't change what just happened. So we got to focus on that next play and what we're going to do, the ne like, following after that. So just picking each, other, picking each other up as teammates. 
we definitely try to keep our composure and stay poised just because, like you said, we've been in this situation before, so knowing what we have to do, executing our game plan, coach has given us what we need to do, so we go out there, we execute it, knowing that it's going to work in our benefit, hopefully. <clears throat> I would say that for a team uh, like this to execute like they have in these first five games, we're you know basically one possession away, potentially one possession away from being four and one from the first game. And in all of those situations late in the game, to have a team to be able to execute, I think that's that we should take confidence in that. We need to continue that. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, T. Okay.